guys welcome back to my channel so today's video i thought i would do a like handbag collection since i have asked this before on my stories and you guys wanted to see it so um i wrote it all down on my ideas so i just thought why didn't i film this today it could be such a fun video and i have so many cute bags that i think you guys will really want to see so um yeah if you want to keep watching make sure to give it a big thumbs up and um subscribe if you haven't already and let's get into the video so guys, I thought I won't show you um, my normal bags as you see behind me, my ottoman, like I literally have taken so many Instagrams and you've seen so many of them in like the start of my videos before. So I thought I'd show you some bags that I don't really think you might have seen before or just like cute ones that are like quite random. It's not every single bag, otherwise we would be here for literally hours. But um, yeah, I thought I'd just give you a little taster into like what bags I have, my style and stuff. So um, yeah, I'm just going to start now, but I just thought I'd explain why I'm not showing these ones at the back, just because I thought it would be a bit boring. And yes, I have my pyjamas on, but a cute little um, houndstooth moment here. This was in my, um, what I got for Christmas haul, actually, and it's really, really cute. So yeah, I'm going to stop talking now and just come with the video. Um, yeah, so let's just get started. Also, if you can hear loud noise behind me, my windows are not open, it's raining really heavy, so... Um, yeah, just ignore that if you can so the first bag i'm going to show you is this one so this is a black um like suede quilted bag with gold hardware i'm just gonna get the straps out and this is from russell and bromley it has a clasp here like this and then just straps like this and um i've literally had this for about three years two years something like that and it is like one of the best bags i own it's so good fits so much in there and um, when I went for a walk last weekend on my dad's birthday, it snowed so hard and I had this bag and you can't even tell, like it literally is fine, there's no marks in it at all. So um, yeah, it's a really good sturdy bag. It is breaking a little bit there from wear and tear because I literally went through a period of time of only wearing and using this bag. So um, I can say I definitely got my money out of it. This was in the sale when I bought it from Russell and Bromley. And Russell and Bromley, if you don't know what that is, um, I don't know if you have it in America if there's like Americans watching but um they do like shoes and bags and um accessories and stuff but um they're not really expensive but they're not cheap either so um I can't remember the original price of this but I think I paid like about 130 maybe for this 90 something like that I know I got a lot of money knocked off of it but this is what the inside looks like so it just has the um gold Russell and Bromley logo there and then like a card bit here and then you can't really see so it's still black and then a pocket in here but it's really really big and fits so much in there and um it's just the perfect size and it just goes with everything i love this so much and i'll never get rid of it it's literally one of my favorite bags ever and i love it so much <laughs> um yeah really really good so you can change the straps if you want it like crossbody or if you want it like this on your shoulder really really cute i might actually use this bag today but yeah i love it so that's a great start to show um next i'm just going to pick random ones so this is a bag that i have from zara still got the tag on it i haven't used it yet um i think i got it for christmas or something like that not last year the year before um it is really really cute and um i go to use it so often but the pouch inside is really small and i have a really purse so i think this is like gonna be best when we go back on holiday and stuff like that or in the summer when i don't need to carry too much but um yeah it's really really lovely like i said it does have a pouch inside so your stuff is not just gonna fall out and it's secure but um yeah you can hold it like this and there's a long silver strap like i definitely will wear this but obviously we haven't really had that many opportunities to go out yet um i'll go on holiday so this is definitely going to be my sun bag to just watch and yeah it is really pretty and i love it it's from zara so um obviously the quality is good i have another zara one i think oh no i don't i didn't bring it out anyway um let's just go on to something different so i'm going to show you another little black bag that i have this is my carvella bag from kurt geiger um i've had this bag three or four years i think and it is honestly just such a handy little bag it circles so i don't normally put i can fit my phone in it i have the um 
excess max and I can put it in there but not really with everything else in there so normally I should put my phone in my pocket but this is like really great if you're just going food shopping or just running errands quickly just to chuck on throw a few things in there it's just so handy to have and it's so pretty as well I always get asked on my Instagram when I wear this so yeah it's Kurt Geiger I don't really think it's available anymore because I bought it so long ago but maybe you can find one on eBay or Depop or something I'm not too sure so it has like gold studs and also pearls on there which is really nice um yeah it's really soft like black crushed velvet almost obviously with the gold hardware and um the zip on top so yeah it's really really nice the only thing i will say is it picks up fuzz but obviously that can't be helped like from my scarf and stuff so i constantly have to like lint roll it but um that doesn't matter it's still really really pretty bag and i love it and yeah it's done me good throughout the years next a little random one i'm going to show you is this little straw bag from Shein with this cute bow and I think this is so adorable just to take to oh sorry I'm showing you the wrong side and um, I think this is so cute to take to the beach or um cute little picnic bag to wear with like you know the basket have this as well it's really cute to put some wine in or something um so it's just got like some wet flowery lace on the front sorry ignore my nails that's really gross but um yeah and it's just got the tan straps and this I did show this in a haul once before but I thought I'd just show it again because you might not have seen that if you're new and it just has a gold clasp and it's quite roomy inside so yeah I love little key bags I mean I love obviously designer brands don't get me wrong but if there's a bag I like I don't really care if it's just from Shein or H&M or anywhere like that so yeah uh the next bag I will show you is another Shein one actually so this is another circle bag and um, with a strap gold as the white here the only thing I'll say about this bag is this does look cheap, this bit, but, you know, once you have it on with your clothes, you can't really see that bit. It's just the gold um, hardware chain here. So, you know, that's the only thing I will say. But, um, again, it's really, really good. I've used this a couple of times over the summer. It has a zip at the front that you undo, so secure. Just big in there. Um, and then has, like, the lace with the flower on it again. This is just like a sage and baby pink and these are like some of my favourite colours. I love sage green. So um, this goes with a lot of my green dresses that I have. And um, yeah, I wore this in the summer a few times. And it's very springy as well and it's really nice. It has a little sheen thing here but I'll probably cut that off actually. I didn't even know it was there. But um, yeah, they sheen do a lot of bags and stuff this style. So you know you can look on sheen because you probably could still find a bag that's similar to this if you like it. So yeah, definitely have a look. And the Shein bags are literally like £7, I think, so so affordable. Next, I will show you a random one. So this is like a vintage juicy bag that I got off of eBay. And how cute is it? It's got like this, the only thing I'm not a lover of is this colour, but it's still cute. So it's like navy blue, um, with a navy blue um, little part on the back that has a J in it for juicy, of course. And then it's like light pink um like velvety and it has pockets on the side both here and here and obviously this big bow and it just says love juicy there and then it has a little popper here and then opens up and it just has juicy on the inside it is real juicy really really cute um has a zip on the inside as well and then has this and i literally paid five pounds or like four pounds 70 for this on ebay something crazy um it does have a few stains in it but i put it in the wash and it doesn't really matter to me it's only like a tiny one and i can't even remember where it is but um yeah and also it comes with these charms as well that you can put on there i haven't put them on yet i just keep them in the pocket but yeah really really cute and i love it because i love juicy and you know some of the bags are really really expensive when i saw this little one i thought oh my god i've never seen one like this before and how cute to have that like display that in your room so yeah got that i don't know how much they are originally probably like 40 or something crazy like that i got it for a steal next bag i'll show you is this one black satin one with a pearl handle i showed this in my what i got for christmas maybe in case you haven't seen it i'll show you um so it's like this black satin still got tissue paper trying to stand it because i haven't been able to go out and wear it um oh i didn't even know it comes with a longer strap as well that's so cute oh i didn't even know that wow we're learning something new today so um let's just clip that one 
Oh my god, so now I can wear it as a crossbar with the pearl. Oh my god, that is so cute. Let's have a look. How sweet is that? And now you can fit. Do you know what? Even though it's like small at the top, you can really stretch it open and probably fit quite a lot in there. It's really stretchy. So um, yeah, I do this in all different colours. And not only do I take this from PLT, I think, but um, a lot of places sell bags like this. So literally just have a look around maybe just type in like um satin pouch bag with pearl strap or something like that i'm sure you can find it um but yeah this is really pretty i might even use this today i'm not too sure um because i'm going to tesco that's how exciting my week gets so um yeah that's why i like get all dressed up for tesco because <laughs> nowhere else to go next bag i'm going to show you is from kate spade Kate Spade is one of my favourite places to get bags, I really love it. So this is like a houndstooth one with um, gold hardware here, so you just put that in, lift it up, and then inside it's just the chain. Like, this bag is really small and it's like very boxy secure, it's not really stretchy or like, I can't fit a lot in there, so you know. Just like a little purse or a card holder and a lip gloss, but yeah. I really love it. I've had this for a while as well as a packet pocket in the back. And um I'm sorry, I really don't know the names or the prices of these. But this I got like three years ago, so I don't even know if you can get it anymore. But yeah, just have a look on the website. Or if you want to find something like this, just type in Kate Spade Houndstooth bags maybe. But um yeah. It's really nice. Uh, I'll show you another Kate Spade one I have, which is this bunny bag. And there's a little pom pom bum in the back. <laughs> so um I got this bunny bag in Boston, I think, when I went on holiday years ago. So it's got like the pink suede ears, they're a bit dirty because I've had this for about three years. Um, and then a little, <clears throat> sorry, a little suede nose with the little gold whiskers there. And then it has a zip on the top there, which you open up. And then it looks like that on the inside. So there's no pockets or anything. It's just that space there. But you know, you can really fit a lot in here. Even though it's small, you can fit a lot. And I just love it. It's so easy to wear. It's like a, such a cute spring bag. And um, yeah, I still love this bag. I always wear it still. Um, so yeah, I think it's a really good price. Because I know it was in the sale when I bought it. So I know I got a bit of money off and it was cheaper in the US anyway because we checked the prices at home so I might know I got it for a good price but um I don't even know if these are available anymore because I know my sister got like a little cat one that she puts her phone in um but yeah I'm sure if you just have a look around you'll be able to find them but it's really cute really nice I love the brown colour I would love another brown bag but like a chocolate brown bag because that colour is really in and I love that colour at the moment so um, if you have any let me know Okay, next bag I'm going to show is from Michael Kors. I think every girl goes through obsession with Michael Kors, don't they? Like, it's not, I never go in there really anymore. But um, I feel like everyone went through their Michael Kors obsession. This is a like, little lavender lilac bag that I got with silver hardware. I don't really have many bags with silver hardware, actually. So um, it says Michael Kors there and has the little MK dangle there. And then you open up and it has a pocket and a zip and this space here, poppers there, and also poppers, sorry my belly's rumbling, <laughs> and also poppers on the side. So you can hold it like that or have it like this, and I did wear this bag a lot back in the day. This bag's actually like five years old and it's still in perfect condition. So yeah, it's really pretty though still, like I'll definitely still keep it because I don't have a bag this colour, so um, yeah, this is very springy and Easter eggy pastel colours you know next bag i will show is this kate spade one which is light pink with all that pearl detailing around there this bag is broken actually but i'm still going to show you because i love it um like the clasp that has come out so you keep having to push it back in i'm sure i can get it fixed but i just haven't had the chance um again this bag is quite old i think it's about four or five years old um has this strap and this, I think it's about four years old actually. And then this like pearl buckle bit here. And then it's just like on a popper, so you just literally, oh no, it's not. You have to push this bit in. I forgot, I haven't used this bag in so long. Because, to be fair, it did break quite quickly into me having it. So I should have gone back, but I just never did. Um, so it's got a pocket and a zip compartment there. Really nice, so you can wear this again 
crossbody or on the shoulder which I like on the shoulder I think it looks really sweet I do really love this bag so um yeah I hope I can get it fixed or something because it is really annoying I don't even know how it broke maybe I put something too heavy in there not too sure but still really pretty and I got this in the sale when I bought it as well so okay one of the last bags I'm gonna show is this white one from Apple Kors that I got three years ago I think and I call it like my tutu bag I think I posted a picture of this on my Instagram ages ago so it's white and silver hardware and um, this is really pretty I really actually love this bag a lot so it has a crossbody strap or you can wear it with the handles um and on the inside it just has this bit here that you just undo with a popper and then it has a zip in the middle and then two compartments with more uh, little pockets in there so it's very spacious has loads of room very summery this bag or even winter it's like white and snowy um i normally wear this in the summer the dresses and stuff and skirts it's really really pretty so um yeah i think this is like one of the only white bags i have so um yeah really nice really pretty very big and spacious and just good and it has little things on the bottom as well so your bag doesn't get dirty or scratched which i think is really good so um yeah really like this and i got that for christmas like ages ago like three or four years ago and the last item i'm going to show is my head coach one which you would have seen if you watched my i can't remember what video it is now i think what i bought myself for my 20th birthday i think it's in that um, so it has the pink long strap crossbody handles, a zip in the middle compartment. And then I also got my initials and hearts on the coach tag. Um, pink on the inside, gold hardware, and also a pink purse that came with it when I bought it at this village because I got it in the sale. And this is literally the cutest bag ever. And I really love it and this style will never go out yeah really really pretty and um, one of my favorite bags actually that I have I love this style I don't know if you can see back there but I've got a gold rose gold one there as well so um I really love coach one of my favorite brands um I have other bags as well but I don't want to bore you I feel like this video is actually already so long and I can sit and talk about bags all day but you know maybe I can film part two one day and um yeah let me know what other videos you want to see guys obviously i'm going to be bringing so much easter content soon when it gets like march april time so um yeah i can't wait for the sun to come back right now it's so gloomy well it looks really bright but it's gloomy outside and raining so um yeah thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed and i'll see you in my next one bye guys